I want to go over some of the health and safety things for today. The weather's good. The rivers are up a bit from the rain we've had over the weekend. If anyone's got any questions or queries about anything, stop and ask. Uh, I'm Marian van Nieuwenhuizen. Uh, I'm one of the directors of Aquatic Control Engineering Ltd. As you can see, you see it's going very well. Uh, we're very pleased. This is the, the first uh, fish siphon in the UK. Uh, there's nine or ten uh, successfully wor working in the Netherlands. Uh, and hopefully this is going to be the first success in, in the UK. The, the Environment Agency is our customer. Uh, they very much want this fish siphon to work. My yeah, name's Chris Bell. Uh, I'm a fisheries technical specialist for the Environment Agency. Yeah, well, we stood at the Wissy uh, Diversion Sluice, which is an Environment Agency structure that we own and control. And uh, we know that uh, fish move up to this structure at certain times of the year, but they have a bit of a problem in getting past it. Most of the time the structure is closed, and that presents a real problem for sort of fish migration, fish gathering to spawn, and fish wanting to move upstream beyond the sluice. And in the last couple of years, when we've looked at a, a new type of fish pass, a new technology, and it's technology we've borrowed from, uh, from the continent, and uh, that's called the Siphon Fish Pass. And so what we've done, we've, um, we've bid for money in the last couple of years to help us with our objectives for moving these fish up and beyond the sluice to water that they can colonise upstream of here and use for spawning, for nursery habitat, some really good habitat they can use in the River Wissy upstream of here. Uh, we've now got this Siphon Fish Pass installed. It's the first one in the UK, and we're really proud of that. I'm Gerard Manson, I'm from Holland. I'm the director from Fish Flow Innovations. The problem for a location like this is the fish migration is uh, difficult to do. And when you put a siphon in it, you can, uh, with, uh, with uh, a, few, a little water, you can let the fish migrate. Because when you're uh, building up a big fish ladder here, that part of the, of the river floats in that one, and there's no water anymore there. And that's the easiest thing to do with the, with the fish siphon. This one will catch a lot of fish. The fish will smell and feel the, 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 the current and they will they want to, to go up again because the fish is swimming here, you have seen them. In the earlier days, uh, maybe uh, in the spring or in, in, when there was a lot of water and the penstock was up, the fish float out. And in the spawning time, they always want back to the place where they are born. Drought can actually cause obstructions for fish, uh, but also, I mean, droughts, I mean, uh, difficulties with water level. Uh, people will require more water level management, which, 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 which often means more structures in the rivers to control the water, uh, also for flood alleviation sort of uh, purposes. Um, so we're controlling the water, which is great, which is great for the safety, you know, of the country. However, uh, at the same time as controlling the water, we often um, make it harder for the fish, uh, sort of, for the, for the fish to pass through. Uh, this is an 80 meter uh, structure, it is in an, an L shape and it's a fish siphon. So the water is siphoned through. Uh, the fish can pass through both ways. They, they're either sort of uh, coming down with the siphoned water or they swim up against it. This is before the fish pass becomes fully operational. We're, we're towards the end of installing it at the moment. But we can look around to the water here and we're seeing a whole shoal of, of, of fish. They're coarse fish that, that live in the river all year round. But uh, they're congregating here and they're amassing for spawning basically. It's a spawning congregation of fish. And uh, we're, we're fairly sure that as soon as this fish pass becomes operational, they'll be attracted by the flow into the pass, move upstream, and that will give them whole new areas of the River Wissy, the habitat, really good habitat, to colonise and, and use for spawning purposes in there. And what we also know is that other times of the year, the same thing is happening for other types of fish. Later in the year, we'll have elvers coming up from the sea, we'll have sea trout moving up here, and we know from our own records and reports from anglers that this is a place where tr traditionally they've been stuck. Uh, they can't get any further upstream. And our fish pass, our siphon fish pass, is the new route of passage for these fish to move upstream. So we're really, really looking forward to that.